in our previous video, the first part, what we did was we got this really nice picture here of the first quadrant of the unit circle. And we had said that the radius is equal to 1, and that this length here is really sine theta, and that this length here is really cosine of theta because of our definition, cosine theta being uh, x over r, where r is 1, so cosine theta is exactly x, sine theta is exactly y, and tangent theta is y over x. And I'm just going to add one little thing here. This xy point here can actually be thought of as cosine theta sine theta. Okay, That's going to make some calculations a lot simpler. So let's start doing this with uh, 30 degrees, 45 degrees, and 60 degree triangles. First one we'll do is 30 degree triangle. And we're just going to draw a unit circle. So there's our y-axis, there's our x-axis, here's our circle. Okay, And now we've got this angle of 30 degrees. Okay, And we drop down the perpendicular like this. It's a right angle. And now we have 30. This is going to be 60 because that's 90 and it has to add up to 180. right? And what we want to do is find out what uh, sine, cosine, and tangent of 30 degrees is equal to. Well, if you remember, first of all, the radius here is 1. And when we had our original picture, right, and we had our original triangle, we had something that looked kind of like this, except it was turned sideways, but it doesn't make a difference. We had the hypotenuse was equal to 2. The short side here was equal to 1. That's your 30 degrees. That's your 60 degrees. Okay, And this side was equal to the square root of 3. All right, well, now you're saying, well, that's 2 and that's 1, so what do we do? Because the angles are exactly the same, the triangles are similar, so we're just going to divide everything by 2. 2 divided by 2 is 1. 1 divided by 2 is this length, which is 1 half. That's your y-coordinate. And this here is going to be square root of 3 divided by 2, which doesn't simplify, so it's just square root of 3 over 2. So that means the xy coordinate of this point is oops, square root of 3 over 2 and 1 half. And if you remember from our earlier lesson, this is exactly cosine of 30 degrees sine of 30 degrees. That's your x coordinate. That's your y-coordinate. comes out very nicely. The only thing we have to do now is tangent of 30 degrees to make sure that this all works. And it does. Tangent of 30 degrees is going to equal the opposite side over the adjacent side. So 1 half over square root 3 over 2. So coming back here, we have 1 half over square root 3 over 2. Okay. Whenever you have fractions like this, you invert the fraction in the denominator, multiply it by the fraction in the numerator. So we end up with 1 half times, we're going to invert this fraction, that's going to be 2 over square root of 3. The 2's cancel. And we have 1 over square root 3, which is the same as square root 3 over 3. Same value as we got before. So that's for 30 degrees. We can do this with 60 degrees. That'll be our next angle. Do we do 60? We'll do 45. So now we're going to make the angle a little bit bigger. Here is 60 degrees. We drop that perpendicular. And now, really, what we have is this first triangle turned sideways. So we'll just redraw it just to go through the process again. Remember, this radius here is equal to 1, but this radius is equal to 2. This is now 60 degrees, so that means this is the square root of 3. This is 30 degrees up here, so that means this is 1. Okay. So we do the same thing. We divide everything by 2. Oops, 2. And we end up with 2 divided by 2 is 1. Square root of 3 divided by 2 is 
square root of 3 over 2. And 1 divided by 2 is 1 half. So this xy point is 1 half. That's the x-coordinate. And the y-coordinate is square root 3 over 2. Well, that's exactly cosine of 60 degrees. And this is sine of 60 degrees. Pretty nice. And we'll do tangent over here. So tangent of 60 degrees is going to equal the opposite over the adjacent. Well, for 60 degrees, that's square root 3 over 2 over 1 half. So let me bring it back here. Square root 3 over 2, divide it by 1 half. And again, we take the fraction in the denominator, invert it, and multiply it by the fraction in the numerator. So that is equal to square root 3 over 2 times 2 over 1, because it's inverse of this. The 2 is cancel, and we get exactly square root of 3, which is what we obtained before. And finally, for a 45 degree triangle, we'll draw another unit circle. Here. There's a circle. There's 45 degrees. The radius is always equal to 1. We drop down the perpendicular. And again, we're going to say, you know, the triangle that we drew before looked different than this. Here's a right angle. We had a triangle that had square root of 2, and the lengths were 1 and 1. Well, we want to turn this square root of 2 into 1, so we just divide by square root of 2. And that means we divide this by square root of 2, and this by square root of 2. So we have 1 over square root of 2 for that length, and 1 over square root, square root of 2 for that length. And this point becomes x, 1 over square root 2, y, 1 over square root 2, so 1 over square root 2, which is exactly cosine 45 degrees and sine 45 degrees. And to find tangent, we have to do opposite over adjacent. So tangent of 45 degrees is equal to 1 over square root 2 over 1 over square root 2. Okay, and we should recognize that whenever we divide something by the exact same thing, we end up with exactly 1. If you don't believe that, you can still go through and take 1 over square root of 2, multiply it by its reciprocal, square root of 2 over 1, and they cancel out and you get exactly 1.